Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna be unboxing my latest Amazon purchase. This is the iZeeker IG400 trail camera. As with all my videos, I like doing these unboxings in case there's somebody else out there thinking about buying the same item and they wanna get an idea of what does it look like when it comes in, what's quality like, what's packaging like, etc. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do a really quick unboxing, show you all the items it comes with, this is a 48 megapixel trail camera and a four, it does 4K video. And what I'll do is I'll put it out and I will attach some sample images and videos. But one thing I will say, uh, at least regarding the videos, is I don't do 4K just because I don't have a device to uh, display 4K on. So the video quality, I will choose uh, 1080p instead. Let's take a look at everything we get. Instruction manual. It's written in several different languages, so it's not near as complicated as it looks. Trail camera we'll look at here in a second. They give you a cloth strap, pretty standard with any trail cameras. Now a couple things that are a little bit unique with uh, this trail camera. They give you a USB cable. This is not a charging cable. This is going to be to plug the camera into your computer to retrieve the images or more so to do firmware updates. They also give you four AA batteries. This camera does run on four AA batteries. The other thing I said is a little bit unique is they give you a 32 gigabyte SD card, which we should have hopefully in the camera. It does take a six volt solar panel. If you've watched my videos in the past, I tend to run them on solar panel. You could use the AA batteries. I'm gonna try and plug this in with the solar panel and we'll see how that goes. So let's take a look at the camera. If you're using the strap in the back, you would run it through here. They also have the metal threading on the bottom. It doesn't look like they give you any metal uh, mounting brackets, which is a little bit unusual, but that works for me because I tend to use uh, a third party mounting bracket versus the traditional ones that come with the made in China cameras. Really tight clips on the side to help with waterproofness, keeping water out. I'll give you a look at the back of the camera before we open it so you can take a look at the specs. Hopefully you can see that okay. And then there is a look at the trail camera itself. There's your plug-in port if you're using that cable. This is going to be the port where you put your uh, solar panel if you're using the solar panel. And then as I mentioned, this camera comes with a 32 gigabyte full-size SD card. It's nice with that. I tend to prefer the full-size SD versus the micro SD cards. They're a little bit easier for me to use. So that's a quick look at the camera and the unboxing. Let's put it out. Let's see what kind of video and image quality we get with this camera. So I'm not going to go through all the settings. The one thing I did want to mention is there's a company out there called My Animal Command that sells these six volt solar panels. And this is the solar panel that I'm using with this trail camera. The nice thing about the solar panels is they tend to work with any of the solar, uh, the, all, any of the trail cameras that are sold on Amazon, just like this iZeeker. The thing I wanted to mention that's pretty nice with this camera is when you turn it on, all I have connected is the solar panel. It's got a nice color screen and then the buttons actually light up, which a lot of you might not think is that important. But when you're out in the field and you're trying to adjust your camera, it's nice to have buttons that light up. If you press the top button, it basically takes you into your menu. And then I'll try and zoom in a little bit. It's pretty simple. You just use the arrows to go down to your different settings. So you've got your mode, you've got your photo resolution, your photo series. If you want to adjust any of these, for example, I'm on photo resolution. I can simply click the button with the arrow on it to the left, and that'll take me into my settings. And then I can just simply choose which value I want to choose. I'm going to set this on the highest megapixel setting, which is 48 megapixels. And again, I'm going to do video on 1080p. But I just wanted to show you what the screen looks like, let you know that the buttons are nice and responsive. They stick out, they are not flat buttons, so it's very easy to film. And the fact that they light up is nice, uh, makes it easy to do in the field, uh, especially if you're a hunter like me. Anyway, let's get it set, take a look at the image quality. 